Hi Aquarius, it's Leonora. Welcome to Soul Searching Tarot. This is going to be your love read. Um, in this segment, I will do the Q&A for you and your person, as well as a channeled love letter from your person. Or this could be from you. Let's see how it goes. The theme here is, is your pers why is your person silent? Or why is your person gone silent? I don't know if this is you or this is your person, but... You know, someone here is either detached or, um, you know, has gone cold or silent. Um, but I will also ask the following questions. Um, number one, I'm going to pick up the energy. So what is the current energy between you, or you and your person? Or what are the energies that have been exchanged between you and your person? Um, I'm going to use my karma cards for that. Um, then I'm going to go into the tarot and I'll ask why have the person that gone silent on you? If that doesn't really apply to you, you can, you can skip to the next question, which is if they could write a, a love letter, what would it say? So it's a channel love letter from your person. And then the fourth question is, what is the future outcome between you and your person of interest? Okay. All right. So let's get started. <sighs> Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Please help support the channel if you haven't done so already. Thank you. I do have also personal readings available as well as spiritual consultations. All right. So what is the current energy between you and your person? This should make sense in some shape, form or other. I feel like if it really doesn't make sense at all, um, you know, you're more than welcome to look at your other placements. Okay. All right. So I have here a lot of cards and this is too many. This is too many. All right, whatever, I'll take it. It came out, let's just do it. Let's do it. All right, so I have Sun, Uranus, 8th house, and Aries. Okay, so strong, um, what do I have here? Um, Scorpio, if that means anything to you. I also have Aquarius. You may be dealing with another Aquarius. Um, I have Aries. Um... Somebody may be um, I don't know, I'm picking um, either a Mars in Scorpio or Mercury in Scorpio. It could be a Mars in Aries or a Mercury in Aries. Um, doesn't have to be. All right. Um, I just feel like the language between you two is pretty intense. Um, this could be love language. This could be verbal language. This could be, you know, um, physical language, <laughs> eye language. But there is some type of language between you and your person. The Maybe even non-language, right? Like non-communication. Like it's like maybe telepathically you guys could communicate. Um... But the language, it, it, it works between you two. Um, I don't know why. Um, you guys may have the ability to talk to each other in, you know, just know what the other person is thinking, you know. Um, or, um, you know, perhaps you're really good at knowing you know, or figuring them out while other people may struggle to figure this person out. You are really good at trying to figure them out, you know, you, you, cause you get them, you know, vice versa. If it's vice versa, they just get you. Um, so the language here is pretty, it makes sense for the both of you, right? It's like you have your own little, um, your own little language. If that makes sense. Um, now, this is crazy. Besides that, I'm sensing that um, anger, temper is really strong here. So um, either you or your person may have a temper. I don't know if it's with each other. I don't know. Maybe for a couple of you, it, you know, you've seen this person explode. But um, otherwise, there's there's a strong temper 
temperament or a strong violent tendency with someone here. I, it's pretty bad. Like I don't even I don't even want to go into it, but I I mean it's to the point where if they explode on someone, I it it, it could be deadly for someone here. <laughs> like it's that's serious. Um when I see the eighth house um actually the eighth house Aries and you're honest here um you somebody here may also be a medium right like some type of psychic medium or even if you don't call yourself a psychic medium there's something about the dead Um, so you, you may see, you know, um, you may communicate with the dead or your person may communicate with the dead or you were raised around a psychic medium. They were raised around a psychic medium. Um, or just spirits, right? Just spirits around you. You have spirits and ancestors around you. All right, so that's that's kind of the energy that I'm picking up right now. Um, all right, let's go into your situation here, Aquarius, um, or anyone dealing with Aquarius. So the second question is, why have they gone silent, right? What is going on with the silence here um, or detachment? All right, so I have the Six of Pentacles, the Four of Wands in reverse, the Ten of Swords, and the Ten of Cups in reverse. Interesting. To have the Four of Wands and the Ten of Cups here um, is pretty damn good, but they both come, came out in a reverse. soulmate energy is what i'm picking up here so strong soulmate energy um some of you might have lived with this person um like shared a home with this person or they came over a lot um and left their belongings there you know what i mean um i don't feel like this is happening currently right because they were both in the reverse so i don't feel like this this energy applies any longer um it, there's definitely a separation here um i think that someone ended the relationship here with the ten of swords um for some of you quite quite a, a while ago a long while ago for some of you recently um I think that there was love here. I, I sensed love, you know. Um, with the Six of Pentacles here, um, you either met this person at work or work got in the way. Um, there's something about career and finance getting in the way uh, with the Six of Pentacles. So, you know, I, I, like... The silence has to do with a separation. <laughs> okay? And that's pretty clear. Like, we're separated, we're not talking, and, you know, and that's that. Right? If you're separating, if you're separated from this person, or you abruptly ended the relationship, there's not going to be any talking. So, my crowd here, you kind of already know that. Right? Um, for a couple of you, maybe somebody here was influenced by another person to break the relationship up with you, vice versa, if it's vice versa. Like somebody here was influenced or was told to leave the relationship with you. Um with the six of pentacles i clarified it and it, the hangman came out so 
I also see, you know, somebody questioning, like somebody questioning if that was the right thing to do or, um, or maybe they thought about it for a long time. Maybe they thought about separating for a long time and they finally did it. Right. Um, but I also see that people still being involved or one other person still being involved in getting somebody getting their opinion, um, or their advice. And that's the silence or detachment that I see here. All right, let's go into the love letter, um, the channel love letter. If this person could write a love letter, what would it say? All right. Um, so just bear with me while I read the energy. Aquarius. All right, so I have here the, what is this? The Wheel of Fortune, the Ace of Swords in the reverse, the Page of Pentacles in the reverse, the Two of Swords in the reverse, and the Ace of Wands in the upright. Okay. Hmm. You know, I could tell you straight out, that somebody doesn't think it's over. But let's move on to the letter. To whom it may concern. In the past, if anyone had gotten in the way of my goals, my plans, my relationships, they would have heard a mouthful. But nowadays, I've changed. I'm different. I try to be a lot peaceful, spiritual. I even let people get away with things. But lately, the energy has come back. And mostly because I'm angry. I'm trying to understand why I'm not talking to you, why we're not together, why you chose to move on. I thought we had something going. I really love the light that we exchanged, the passion that we shared. And the love that I felt from you. The end. This is interesting. Um, I kind of wasn't expecting that, but I, I did feel someone being explosive here, right? Um, and I see it here again in the love letter um, with the Wheel of Fortune in the upright and the ace of swords in the reverse. Um, like somebody wanting to say something. I did say, okay, so I did see a lot of eighth house and first house energy here, Aries and Scorpio. Listen, that's Mars energy right there. Um, could be Sagittarius also, if that means anything. And I don't know if, 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 listen, for, you know, maybe for a few of you, somebody got in the way or you were influenced or they were influenced to, you know, leave the relationship. Like, a, mind you, the relationship here, we have the Ten of Cups in the, right? Four of Wands. This is, this is, you want this energy in a relationship, you know, when you do tarot readings. But, um, it came out in a reverse and somebody is here is not happy about it. Do you understand? It's like, how did they just, how did this just happen? Or they, maybe they, maybe they know how it happened, but they didn't expect for it to end. Is kind of what I'm hearing. Like they didn't expect for it to end the way it did. Um, 
but the the fact that this light is still burning for someone here they, i don't feel like it's over for them let's see what the future outcome is between you and this person what is the future outcome here between you and this person All right, so the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse, the Sun card in the reverse, the Five of Swords in the upright, the Death card in the reverse. So Leo, Scorpio, if that means anything. Um, yeah, somebody here has been upset about the situation, Aquarius. Um, and not just like, not just upset about the relationship ending, but the fact that you were their person, the fact that maybe for some of you, somebody got in the way of the relationship, um, and they're not happy about it, okay? Um, somebody here doesn't want to work out, work the relationship out. It's like somebody here made a decision to not make the relationship work. They're like, I don't listen. It's over. And I feel like someone here is going to stick by it, you know, with the future outcome here. Like I'm, you know, they're sticking by it. I'm going to stick by it. But the other person is, um... It's not going to go for it. Uh, what does that mean? They're not going to go for it. Um, like they're not, they're not ready to accept it, right? With the Eight of Pentacles and the Sun card in the reverse. They're not ready to accept the fact that the relationship is over. Um, there's a very dark energy here. <laughs> like I keep, I keep picking it up and I'm going to say it. It's a darkness going on here with someone um and i feel like i picked it up here right i didn't i pick it up in the first energy um okay all right then i have the five of swords in the death card um the death card came out in a reverse <clears throat> So the outcome here is i i feel like you know for some of you you guys may end up working it out right you know may end up giving it another chance or at the very least listening you know um hearing this person out I'm, you know like you're gonna hear this person out see what they have to say but i just i feel like you don't like i feel like you don't want to end the relationship meaning you don't mind talking to this person has friends or an acquaintance or um maybe hanging out once in a while i just don't feel like somebody here wants a commitment um with this person um oh they don't want to be in a relationship they don't want to be tied to the relationship they don't want to make it official you know maybe it was before but now they don't right whether this is you aquarius or the person you're dealing with i don't know but um I think that for some of you, you know, if you work it out with this person, I don't see a commitment or a relationship or a full on reconciliation. I see that you may be civil about, you know, the situation, right? Um, like you don't mind, you know, um, hanging out with this person or talking to this person once in a while. But that's where it ends for some of you. Um, I think maybe for the rest of you, you're not really trying to deal with this person. I think that you might have seen their dark side. Um, you might have seen their explosive energy. And you're not trying to go there with this person. Um, with the five of swords and the five of swords and the death card here. Okay. Okay now. Um, yeah, that, that, that was your love read. Aquarius. All right. If you need a private reading, my email is in the description box. Love you, Aquarius. Bye.